Là em có thể giới thiệu bạn học cho chúng em học được nhiều tiếng Anh Và năm sau lên lớp thì sẽ có kiến thức năm nay và sẽ dễ học hơn Em hy vọng là nữa năm sau là có các anh chị lại đây dạy tụi em học thêm nữa Dạ là em muốn học ngành là lực sư và em muốn ra nước ngoài nè The community they love the program a lot People I hear that they wish that they have the children uh, like, like that That is so they can send their children to school to play with the program It's so easy to forget when they come to school and they all put on their colored shirts. They just look like, you know, regular students. They could be students from America. And then you actually go home with them at the end of the day and you meet their family and you see where they live and it's, it's unreal. You'd never think in a million years, all these kids at school, they go home and they do their chores and they all, their whole family sleeps in one bed. And it's so different. Everything is so different. And it was, I learned so much about it. And it was great. It was such a great experience. The kids, they're really excited in the, in what the American countries say. Because they know new things, strange things, and very useful things. I can say so few words directly to the kids, but still I feel like I know them as individuals. You have to overcome obstacles every day. You have to learn to communicate, and it was just fantastic. The kids are so willing to work hard. They really took a hold of the ideas that I taught them and made them their own. Student athlete gains an experience in another culture. They learn what it's like to live in a place where they have very little. They learn to appreciate you know, everything they've had, ranging from their treatment as an elite athlete and an American University to the resources they had in their childhood that allowed them to get to college. The kids in primary school see the student in Kentucky University, see the student in U.S. here, and you know, and give them dream. The student from Kentucky University had the time to talk to the student in U.S. and they can share many understanding in both countries. So that's why we encourage them to have some activity. We visit the family, talk to the local people. I hope that in the future they will be able to see themselves as change agents. Just by virtue of being athletes, they have ability to make a difference in other arenas. Coach for College is only able to exist because of the, the generosity of donors. Definitely my biggest supporter has been my alma mater, Duke. They gave me the initial seed money and they helped bring our rival school, UNC Chapel Hill, on board. They were the two institutions that supported me last year. This year I was also helped out by two more universities, um, Virginia Tech and the University of Virginia. So all four universities are contributing some money. Um, in addition to the State Department and to the student athletes themselves. All of the athletes raised at least $1,000. It was about $30,000 that was brought in by the 28 student athletes. The other companies that I've found support from include Nike and Under Armour. Nike donated 100 pairs of shoes last year and they've been great because we've given them to the kids as prizes. This year Under Armour gave us 400 shirts which where it was able to give enough for each coach to have one shirt for every day of the camp. Sometimes we go to the student hall to recruit them to go to school. The parents usually ask us the question like, do we have to pay for, like, for the school fee when their children to go to school? They, they worry about like, the fee for the school their story and they're very happy when we say no it's no money no money it's free program so your your children can go and like study without payment some of the kids here um, they they really they really love to go to school but um, they have to stay at home to to do the family work because they they don't have enough money they just uh, all the money today to live for today 
and tomorrow they have to find another way to to live to continue their living. So I hope that they will we will have more budget for the program so that the kids can come to the school and the kids can join the program. Coach for College, what I like about it is that it's not just coming in and providing immediate aid and immediate education. It's coming in with a plan for long-term building. It's doing more than just providing this generation of students with knowledge. It's trying to build for future generations something that's truly sustainable. I had never left the country before, so it was a huge step outside of my comfort zone. As a personal thing, it was cool to know that I could do something like this. Even though there's a language barrier, something that always translates is laughing and a smile. I'm going to go back and tell my teammates how awesome it is and if they get a chance that they should definitely try it because I think you just learn how good we have it at home. Even just the little kids that are in the camp, they just, they're so much happier with so much less. My goal is to expand Coach for College throughout Vietnam initially for the next few years. And I think that's very possible just because of the nature of the education system in Vietnam. But at the same time, I hope that the program serves as a catalyst for other initiatives that are run locally. And these could range from training teachers in some of the methodology that we use, having after school sports programs, like maybe even having a Coach for College program one day a week during the school year. I hope one day to extend it to other countries as well, you know, perhaps Cambodia or countries in Africa or maybe even South America. Because of the universal nature of sport, it's something that can work well in a lot of different countries.